What's up my friends? There's my bike and it's all dressed up and ready to go. I am here in Las Cruces, New Mexico to go on a little bike packing adventure and I'm excited. And unlike a lot of my adventures, I'm not going alone. In fact, I'm going with a lot of people. This is like a big old bike packing summit. There's like a hundred of us. We're gonna ride the monumental loop, which is about 250 miles. And I'm excited. You know, this guy Matt invited me down like six months ago and I was like, okay, sure. I don't know anything about you or this route, but let's do it. It sounds like an adventure. Uh, this is a group start on the Monumental Loop. Uh, we call it the Danger Bird for some silly reasons that, that don't really mean anything to anybody else. But um, we call it the Danger Bird and everybody's going to go out and just ride together. Not a competitive event. Nobody's trying to race. Um, we're just out there to connect with each other and with the landscape and, and see what happens. What can we look forward to? Uh, you're going to see five different mountain ranges along the way, um, all sort of tied together with the Rio Grande Valley. Hey, my name is George Pearson. I'm uh, Vice President of Velo Cruces, which is a Las Cruces bicycle advocacy group. Uh, today, uh, we're here with the Everybody Rides with Grace program. So this is Grace, and she has uh, some Hi, disability needs, so she has an adaptive bicycle. Hi, Grace. Hi. How are you doing? Good. So you're going to lead the way today? Yes. Wonderful. And this is your bike? Yes. Do you love riding bikes? I do. Very cool. Well, it's an honor to be able to ride with you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, what about green chilies and good Mexican food? There's a ton of that. And I recently rerouted the route to put less sand, less difficult hiking, and more time in the Rio Grande Valley eating burritos and chili rellenos and all the stuff that's, that makes this place so special. So Yeah. And why do you personally, why do you love getting out there and doing long hikes and biking? Uh, it's just such a relaxing thing. It's something I've done my whole life. I, I sort of think people need to be outside. It's a need we've had. I mean, we've done that for 200,000 years, and only recently do we live inside. And it seems like our reality, but I don't think that's always true. Yeah. So I think we have this deeper you know, need to be outside, moving on the landscape with other people especially. Yeah. That's a pretty powerful thing, so. Absolutely, right on brother, I'm so excited, high five. Yeah, me too man. So good to uh, meet you. Yeah, glad you're here. All right, it's not every day I get to lean my bike up next to a palm tree. So I have pretty much the same setup as always. I'm bringing my big cans in the back here because we're in the desert and I'm gonna need water. But there it is, the Priority 600X. Of course, we've got our pinion and gates. We got the Ren fork up here, and I love this bike. I'm really excited to get back on it. It's been a little while. What a beautiful sight. I've never been around so many dirty bike packers. I <laughs> love it. Go, Grace, go! How we all doing? Woo, 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 woo. There's so many of you. This is gonna be so fun. What's up? No flatties! No crashies, no whammies! Woohoo! Alright, <laughs> everybody bolted off. Now I gotta catch up to them. Let's do this. Heading into the desert. Gonna have the time of my life. Four days in southern New Mexican paradise with a lot of good people. Just checking out, make sure I don't hit, get hit by any cars here. This is really special. I'm so excited to be part of this. I really am. You know when you get somewhere and you meet people and you just feel good? Like you feel like the energy is right? That's how I feel right now. Here's just some good people here. What'd you say, Grace? I'm super happy. She's super happy right now. We're all super happy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's do this for the kids. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Grace. You're wonderful. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's a very precarious burrito. <laughs> you better not hit a big bump, buddy. It's all about strapping things on top of things and then even more strapping. That's kind of a bike packing for you. <laughs> So we're just going a casual pace, making our way out of Las Cruces on some very nice bike paths. And I think pretty soon we're going to hit some dirt. Ole, 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 ole. 
<laughs> oh, these people are like, who is this weirdo? First big obstacle cleared. So we've got Jimmy from Leadville. What's up, man? What's going on? You liking this desert? Pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Real fun. We're on dirt now. Life is good. Yeah. D-Bird, go. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for coming out here. Thank you for riding by us. And what do you think about bikepacking? Uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> well, you love, look at that smile, though. Yeah. See that smile? You can't escape yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's nothing like spending a couple hundred miles pushing your bike up a hill. <laughs> now we're riding on some really nice, quiet canal roads that are snaking out of the city. We're heading toward these big, beautiful mountains. So I feel kind of bad even telling you this because you can't smell it. But the whole world right now smells like roasted green chilies. This is the season. And I think all these houses are roasting chilies in their backyards. And it's just this nice smoky flavor with a bit of spice. I love it. What's up ladies, how you doing? Good, <laughs> thanks. So what inspired you to come out here today? Um, just, just to get out, yeah. Yes, get out and have some fun? Yeah, I don't like to be bored. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> and Estefania. Yeah. Hey. Yo, you are Mexican, not new Mexican. <laughs> yeah. How did you get into bikepacking? Um, it's I guess like during the pandemic, um, I was living on the Navajo Nation near Gallup because I was doing like COVID stuff there. And it was during the time when people had to wait a week for their COVID test to come back. So I had like a week where I couldn't like go home. I couldn't really be around people. And I was like, I'm just going to ride my bike from Gallup to Sedona. And that's kind of how it that's started. That's how it started? <laughs> So these mountains right in front of me are called the Doña Anas. And it's really beautiful. Kind of reminds me of Baja a little bit. So I'm really inspired by you three. You're a family. This is dad and your kids. How's it yeah. feel to be out here with your children? Couldn't be better. Yeah. How'd you get them into bikepacking? Ah, uh, you know, well, there's plenty of trails around here in southern New Mexico and they're in school down here. And I love bikepacking and they love backpacking and now they love bikepacking. <laughs> Are you loving it? Yeah, it's been really fun so far. Yeah. What's it like to be able to do this with your family? Uh, I guess I just feel really lucky because I know a lot of people don't get the opportunity to come out here. Um, and my dad's also a really good planner, so it's pretty easy to, you know, just kind of come along. <laughs> and by the way, the weather is perfect. It's like high 70s, low 80s. Much warmer than Boulder. Boulder's getting chilly, so I'm happy to be down here in the desert. Yeah, buddy! Go get them! It's about midday right now, and that New Mexican wind that I love so much is kicking up. Luckily, it's not really a factor because we change directions constantly. So sometimes headwind, sometimes tailwind, sometimes sidewind. But uh, I'm just really, 
I'm enjoying this a lot. It's just fun to hang out with people and ride bikes. All right, we're about 25 miles in. We're in the Rio Grande Valley. Nice and flat, chili farms everywhere, nut farms. It's uh, nice and hot and nice and windy. My goal is to get to hatch by dinner time because they have the best green chilies in the whole wide world. Check it out, I found a real live tumbleweed. Go tumbleweed, go! Come on, you can do it, buddy. <laughs> what a sad tumbleweed. I'll give you a little boost, how's that? Go tumbleweed! <laughs> I made some new friends all the way from Virginia. You just took a bite of Cliff Bar. I'm gonna ask you a question. <laughs> Do it. Why'd you come here all the way from Virginia? I wanted to see different ecology. Yeah? In Virginia, we've got like beautiful deciduous forests and stuff, but I was ready for something a little different. I wanted to see some new vegetation and animals. And uh, what do you cool. love most about biking, bike pack, and sleeping under the stars? Mm. Just that whole thing where all you have to do all day is ride your bike. No work, no nothing. Just yeah. ride your bike, eat snacks, look at all the beautiful stuff around you. Grasshoppers having a grand old time here in the desert. Get it, buddy. So while I'm out here thinking I'm in the middle of nowhere filming humping grasshoppers, this dude rolls up. How you doing, buddy? Good. Good. So you came from where? Uh, Spearfish, South Dakota. Wow. Yeah. What, have you ever been here before? Never been to New Mexico biking before. Yeah. What do you think? It's good stuff. I don't see any trees though. There's no shade. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's a nice cool breeze. Oh yeah. Nice headwind. Yeah, man. Yeah. What inspired you to come out here? Just saw it on bikepacking.com and came on down. Boy, we got a big hill here. Big hill. Whew. Yeah, that got me going. That was hard. I've hit some full-on Baja Divide style sand. And even though, you know, it's a pain to ride through, it reminds me of good memories in Baja. Nice little slowdown. See those guys way up there? That's the hill that I'm heading up. But it actually looks okay. The road looks nice and smooth, unlike the other road we just did. Let's go, Ryan. Come on, buddy. You got this, bud. You got it. Over to this beautiful cow tank and I have new friends now. What's up guys? How's it going? How's it going? What's Ryan? your name? My name's Carl Levine. How What's you up? Doing, What's your name? I'm Bobby. Bobby, you guys are in the shade but we can see you. Oh, you guys yeah. are looking good. Where it's yeah. good. Why'd you guys uh, decide to come out here and do this? Oh, uh, you know, uh, I I met Matt a long while ago on another ride and uh, I've been following him on the Insta and 
yeah, the, the opportunity to get out and uh, do this monumental loop, the Danger Bird loop. Uh, it's been I've it's been lore at this point. So uh, to be out here is ride, riding. It's really cool. It's cool to see people like yourself out here. Obviously, <laughs> adds validity to it. You know, yeah. the Mexico bike uh, packing is coming up, and uh, Are you there's from a lot here? of fun things. I'm from Albuquerque. Yeah. Okay, right on, man. Yeah. So you're proud of your state. Oh hell yeah, of course. Yeah. Right, on, of course. right on, right on. Where are you from? Albuquerque. Also. Albuquerque also. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking so far of the route? It's been, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little beat up. I expected to get a little further today and uh, yeah, you know. Uh, honest assessment, Carl. Uh, I, so, yeah, I'm having some uh, some honest assessments, you know. <laughs> Gratitude checks as well, you know. You gotta, you gotta appreciate that you're out here having fun and all these people uh, rode this route a hundred different times and put it together to, to make it so that we can come out here and enjoy it. And uh, it's all pieced together very nicely, you know. All right, I'm gonna get some water out of this cattle tank. Whoa, this is a little precarious. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> look at that. Got it. Look at that, look at that water. Look at that water. Water's life. If cows can drink it, humans can drink it. All right, so I can't just take that water and drink it because, you know, it's probably really dirty. So I'm going to zap it with my UV thing. Da 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 da. I put it in there for about 45 seconds, let it do its thing, kill all the. Parasites, Giardia, whatever might be in there. Who knows? And there's definitely some water bugs in there. I don't think you can see them, but little black bugs are swimming around. So this is not vegetarian water. I'm, I'm about to murder some insects. Sorry, guys. <laughs> don't want those in your teeth. Got a pretty strong headwind as we head into hatch, but that's okay. I have these three dudes in front of me blocking the wind. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm so excited to eat some warm food. Hopefully a burrito of some sort with green chili. Look at that guy. What's up, buddy? I'm riding by all these restaurants and they're all closed. <laughs> no! There might not be any burritos, but there's certainly an epic sunset. Look at that. <laughs> Incredible. So I found the only restaurant open. It's kind of a food truck. And I went to the menu and the guys just started speaking Spanish to me. And these guys right here are from Honduras y Guatemala. <laughs> Amigos, como estamos? Guatemala bien. <laughs> Mira la comida. Que me hiciste? Wow! Así es! Ustedes son mis héroes! Eso, Ustedes dos! Oh, I don't get to meet Central Americans very often, especially not Hondurans. Whenever I meet a Honduran, because I lived there for two years, I get very excited. And I'm so happy that there is food. And they, they say I can camp out back, out back, right? Yep, yep, Yay! Yep. Thank you! And, you know, this is the thing. Something always works out. It always works out. That's how it works. All right. I'm in my tent behind the food truck and I am cozy and I'm happy. I love situations like this. And I always feel really comfortable around Mexican people. This place is owned by Mexicans and they've got some Central American chefs in there. And uh, it's just fun, I love it. And today was a great day, you know, but I will admit I am tired. It was hard, that wind just kind of wore me out. There was some times with tailwind, but mostly it was headwind. That's how it always goes, right? But uh, yeah, just taking off today with everybody and the emotion and the energy was so exciting. It's just, you know, I've been a part of that energy in running races, but never in a bike event. I've never really done bike races, and this isn't a race, but you know what I mean. Um, made it about uh, 70 miles today, and that's right on pace for finishing this in four days, which I have to do because I fly out on the fifth day. <laughs> so, you know, I gotta keep moving, hustling, but you know, Enjoy it, and uh, New Mexico will always have a special place in my heart. It is so stunningly beautiful here, and um, the people are really cool. So I'm gonna sleep here on the side of the road and uh, <laughs> be very grateful for that. <laughs> 